Spam comments in social media can be a real headache. And in this video, I'm going to show you a way that you can hopefully alleviate some of the frustration that they may cause in a couple of really simple steps. So what am I talking about? Well, first of all, there is the comments side on recorded videos on YouTube. So uh, when you've posted a video, uh, sometimes there'll be spam that occurs down in the comments down below. Uh, but equally, you also get this sort of thing happening on live streams as well. Uh, and almost that's a little bit more distracting because it could be just right when you're in the middle of a flow in your live stream uh, and then there is uh, sort of spam comments coming up uh, and some of the spam comments can be you know really quite obscene and graphic and uh, just disturbing uh, not least you know highly offensive to uh, yourself and also the people that are watching your live stream and you don't really want to expose people for that uh, I would certainly nev never recommend just bringing up all of the comments as a stream onto your uh, YouTube channel but I see people doing that uh, there again you've got the added potential issue of um, if people are posting spam into the chat and you've just got literally a stream of comments coming up live on screen that you're sort of are uncensored effectively um, then that can lead to real issues for you as a uh, uh, youtuber and live streamer because you can get your whole channel taken down if there is something offensive that just even appears on the screen uh, so lots of issues uh, with this but it also doesn't just apply to YouTube as well you know this can happen just you know as easily on any other platform any live streaming platform or on Facebook posts and things like that and so uh, you know there are usually some steps in place to try and handle this to a certain extent but at the end of the day I still get spam comments on my uh, my YouTube videos and in live streams and things like that or at least I did I've uh, taken some steps to significantly reduce them though and that's what I'm going to show you in this video uh, first of all in YouTube it's really quite simple to go and put a list of blocked words so you know offensive words that you uh, maybe think might uh, come up you could go and uh, and add those in so I'll show you how to do that first of all uh, in YouTube Studio, uh, if you come down to the settings right down here at the bottom left, click on the settings. Uh, and then here, what you want to do is go up into the uh, channel, sorry, the community, <laughs> I beg your pardon, this one just here, click on the community tab. Uh, and then from here, this is where you can select moderators or uh, boot moderators if they misbehave. <laughs> You've also got banned users and things like that. Uh, live redirects, uh, but this is the one that we want down here is blocked words. So, uh, you know, you could think here of uh, the sort of words that may come up and you might think of some really uh, disgusting words that people might put in the chat. Uh, now, I did start to do this, um, but I realize uh, my uh, imagination is not as great as the imagination uh, of the uh, spammers. So there is fortunately a really great way that we can uh, just get a real head start with this management because my uh, friend and moderator and Mr. Moderator extraordinaire to the stars, Mr. Moderator himself, Paul Duncan, has created a list. Now I've got to warn you in advance that uh, I'm not going to put it up on screen first of all, but this is a highly graphic uh, list and a highly offensive list because it contains all of the offensive terms, phrases and things like that, that you just simply would not ever want to appear in your live chat or in your comments. And he's made it available as well. So if you go over to the link, which is down in the description, uh, you can come down here, Mr. Uh, Moderator Paul Duncan, his blocked word list. Uh, it's $10. I can tell you it's going to save you a hell of a lot more than $10 in your time in just even thinking about this list and typing them out. There's uh, 2, 000, over 2,000 words in here words and phrases and the thing about it is it's you know uh, phrases but then re uh, wording of phrases you know or words that have got letters switched out for numbers all these kind of uh, uh, little <laughs> tactics misspelling of words it's basically going to save you uh, I would say hours in terms of just even coming up with this list in the first type place uh, but second in the um, sort of ongoing management that you would get by uploading this to um, YouTube so that it blocks all of these things. And then you're not going to have to be going and thinking, you know, you've got to delete all of these. You can always add more. I'm sure that uh, spammers always get more creative. So there may be more that come up, uh, but this will also be updated. So Paul will be updating it as well. And then you can also uh, obviously still go and add some in. So all you're going to do is go over to the link that is in the description, uh, click on this one. I want this. And then you'll download the file. And like I say, uh, just a warning, as Paul has made very clear here as well, 
please be aware this list is very explicit and may offend some people. This is because you don't want these words to appear in your streams and uh, quite right too. So all you're going to do is download the list. And as I say, I'm not going to uh, copy it out and show you, <laughs> but because of the nature of the words that are in it, uh, but you're basically just going to highlight, select all, uh, and then it's already got them all there, comments separated. And you just literally come into this block words list click on uh, paste and click on uh, save and then you are good. You've got all of this uh, uh, security in place to stop people from posting really quite heinous sort of spam and things like that in your live stream. And it can be a real distraction. I know it is. I know that I have moderators in my live stream uh, and they're always on the ball to delete this sort of stuff, but it still comes up in your feed. It still appears in the, uh, you know, the chat box and things like that. So it can really be a distraction. Uh, obviously, this word list on any other platforms where you can block these sorts of things, uh, you would be able to uh, do it there as well. Can't recommend this highly enough. It's going to save you a lot of time, a lot of headache, and uh, potentially save a lot of offense for people who may be in your live streams as well. So uh, head over there and get it immediately is what I would suggest. And I will catch you in another video. But I'll leave a list of some of my other YouTube related videos over on the right hand side so you can check some of those out right now.